So join me for a time of meditation. <clears throat> You know, we are so, so blessed to be here in the Olympic Mountains. <clears throat> Throughout history, humankind has stood in awe of mountains. The strength <clears throat> and sturdiness evident in the <coughs> rocky crags and smooth slopes of peaks around the globe have from time immemorial inspired creativity and kindled courage. Mountains have been venerated by many cultures which worshipped great summits as gods and sacred beings. In their looming presence, humanity has seen power, steadfastness, and resolve. Today, we are practicing a mountain meditation the power that lives in the heart of all mountains will flow into you while their essential beauty reminds you that you too are one with the earth. <clears throat> Visualize yourself at the base of a towering summit. And you may find you are picturing a steep and majestic snow-capped peak. <clears throat> or perhaps a lush tree-covered mass <coughs> that rises gently from the earth. Let us sit at the mountain's base and spend a few moments simply coexisting with it. <clears throat> and when you feel tranquil, speak lovingly with your mountain and ask to receive its energy. Feel it moving into you through all parts of your body, bringing strength, power, <clears throat> healing, all to be set in the, into motion with the engagement of your will. Now, for Project your consciousness to the mountain's peak and look down on the flatlands over which it stands guard. <coughs> Breathe in this high, clear mountain air, this high consciousness. And send light to the flowers, the trees, and other plants, and, and to the animals that call the mountain home. You may discover that you feel wonderfully immense, unshakable, as you delve deeper into this connection with the mountain. And finally, give thanks. Give thanks to this strong, powerful energy for sharing time with you as you 
return to this present moment, you feel ever more grounded, growing gradually into your personal alignment with the one power and the one presence in all of the universe. The will of God never takes me where the grace of God cannot keep me. And so it is, and so we let it be. Amen. I